family at the center of a video that has gone viral and has been seen more than 20 million times since this past weekend are now telling their side of the story. If you haven't seen the video yet, one of the few perhaps who hasn't, it's a sea lion dragging a little girl into the water at the Richmond, B.C. Harbor. Here it is. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! So this is the video that set off all of that reaction. Marine mammal experts, the Richmond Harbor Authority, they have blamed the family for getting too close, for feeding the sea lion. Well, the family is talking to CBC News to set the record straight. Tina Lovegreen has more. The terrifying moment has shaken up the entire family, but it says the young girl is doing well. I spoke with her father earlier, and CBC News has agreed not to share his first name to protect the girl's identity. But Mr. Lau says that his six-year-old does have a small bite wound on her lower body and has been prescribed antibiotics. And the man who jumped into the water to rescue the girl is her grandfather. Mr. Lau credits him with saving his daughter's life. If he had a one or two second thought about that, my girl could be torn by then. That reaction is, it makes him a hero. Only thing that I care is, God, she's safe. God, I didn't miss anyone. I didn't, I didn't miss out anyone from my family at that moment. I could have gone organizing funeral by now, other than doing interview. The grandfather was shaken and soaked, but is doing okay. Now, many people are wondering what exactly happened as the story has gone viral and made international headlines. Many, including experts, have slammed the family for what happened to the girl. Some claim it's because they began feeding the sea lion, but the family denies that. The family, which actually lives in Vancouver, says they were on a stroll, noticed a crowd, and stopped to take a look at the sea lion. My daughter ran to the front and try to see the see the sea lion, you know, in a in a closer in a closer look. If you are saying that um, the the girl was staying too close with the wild animal, I agree. I strongly agree. The father says the girl has learned her lesson to not get too close, and hopes others will as well. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.